Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to talk to you about a concept about push versus pull in the downswing. So it's an interesting topic, and we'll talk more about that in a tick. But if this is the first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. The best way to lower your score is to hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification, and then you're notified of all of my videos as they get released. So as I said, today we're looking at push v pull in the downswing. So it's a, it's a topic that I hear a lot of. A lot of people come for a golf lesson and they've really been trying to work hard on pulling the club down. So the best way I can describe which you should do is if you picture a broken down car or a golf cart, if it's stuck in neutral, maybe it's got a flat battery and you want to move it, would you pull it or would you push it? So pushing requires a little bit of effort, but not too much, and you can actually generate a little bit of speed pushing the cart. If we think about trying to pull the cart, it requires a lot more initial force, and you can't get the same amount of speed by pulling. So I believe pushing is more efficient, and if we can start thinking more along the lines of our right hand pushing the club through versus our left hand pulling the club through, I think we're gonna play a lot better golf. So I know a lot of people love thinking about when they get to the top of their swing, they have to pull the club down like it's pulling the chain or pulling the rope. The problem with it is by, by that feeling of pulling, you get down here and you can hit a long way behind the ball. Second thing is it actually is hard to keep the club head accelerating through the ball. So if we can't accelerate with our hands, we then accelerate with our body and that creates a whole heap of other issues, which takes a lot of energy, but it doesn't produce a lot of club head speed. I much prefer the concept of letting the right hand push the club head down. We keep the speed up high, it accelerates through the golf ball, and it gives you a lot better control. So I'm, I'm a real advocate of letting that right hand push the club head through, and I'm talking, of course, from the right-handed perspective. The left-handed perspective, we would be pushing with our left hand. It's just so much easier. So let's see how I go with hitting the shot. So by me letting my right hand push the club head through, it makes the club accelerate through the shot I can maintain my speed and I get a much better result by doing so. And I'm not trying to hit it that hard when I do it. So there you have it. I'm a, as I said, I'm a huge believer in letting that right hand push the club head through. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.